moving broadcast workflows to the cloud is one of the industry's highest priorities. It was also a main theme at one of the broadcast industry's largest events. IBC was the grand premiere of Cloud Switch for the broadcast industry, and we met with all the big companies, such as Microsoft, Google, AWS, and Everts, to highlight our unique role in enabling these transitions. Broadcasters are more and more turning to the cloud as part of their integral workflows. Broadcasters are telling us that they never expected to have this kind of functionality on the cloud. What I'm really learning from my customers and from the industry at large is that we have to start thinking about cross-connecting the consumer beyond the day-to-day -day moment of, hey, I watched this image. Now, what do I do with the rest of my life with this content? We're working with the right partners who bring the right first party solutions to the table, all backed by the foundations of the most secure cloud in the world. And a lot of these broadcasters want to move to the cloud and they're only putting one toe into the water right now. So one of the nice things that we at Switch do is provide that interconnectivity and that intelligence on the network side to remove that as a bottleneck for all of these companies that want to move to the cloud. This is our demonstration live at IBC 2022, where we partner with Microsoft in order to do this really complicated diagram over here. Now what you're going to see is that we're bringing in live video from Everts, from the show floor, and distributing to a lot of these partners that do really cool pieces of the software flow for live production video. And if you try to engineer this whole thing from a networking layer, you've got video flying all over the place. You've got Azure virtual private networks. You've got security groups. You've got different protocols. It's coming in SRT from Everts. It's going out multicast over to Telestream. It's coming back in multicast, getting converted back to SRT for other flows. It's really complicated. The nice part about what Switch does is we act as the center part of this whole flow. We bring the network feeds in from all these various partners, we do the protocol conversion, and we send it back out on the other end. This is running live. So what you see here on the bottom monitor is the input feed. It's a simulated NBA game coming in 4K at 60 frames a second. It's coming into our switch. It's getting sent out from SRT, converted into multicast into Tachyon, which is a Cinefilm product. Tachyon is doing a video translation of it down to 1080p, 50 hertz, and that's what you're seeing on this monitor. And in the middle, we're also sending those feeds and the monitoring data to a product from a company called Telestream, which is an IndioQuest company that is doing monitoring of it. All of that network traffic is flowing through the switch in the middle through all the different protocol conversion parts. And this is running live right now in the Microsoft booth. And what Switch.io does is their cloud-native software, and I think that's the most important thing. FastSwitch understands broadcast data streams. It's the stitching together of the larger ecosystem and solutions that's, that Switch and Cloud Switch are helping us do at Microsoft. What we're looking at here is our interface into the Everts control system. It's our orchestration control monitoring and analytics. Its job is to model and set up network devices and facilitate control of those flows through the network. And what we're looking at here is the view into the Magnum ecosystem. We've got uh, represented here streams that are starting on-prem, multicast content, um, hitting a local switch in there, and then being able to upload into Switch I.O. within the cloud through multiple you know, cloud vendors. A Dash 7 is redundancy stream, so we can provide a main and backup stream to an endpoint so that uh, we have an issue with an instance or a path in there, the video can seamlessly fail over without a visible hit to um, the downstream viewer. So we've actually modeled in exactly the network flows. Magnum does endpoint control to take the stream that's multicast through the network and to the endpoints and tune them so we can vi visualize the video. Additionally, what we'll see here is kind of the device connection information, and we can do deep dives into the system and see exactly what's going on. Now, tap into the Switch I.O., be able to see the multicast that's running through there, the various endpoints that are part of the system with their access IPs, and be able to see additional monitoring flows and information against the, the so product. this is a working. live view of what's going on in that, that flow of data coming through the Switch? Exactly. By leveraging the analytics side and monitoring of Magnum, we're able to pull that additional information out of the system. Everybody knows they've got to get on AWS, they've got to get on Azure, they've got to get on Google. And we're getting that pull from the clouds and we're getting the pull from the customers. So the value of having the Switch I.O. technology here, it really does show how you can start to bridge uh, technology you found on-prem 
with things in the cloud and have that seamlessly being monitored and managed under one umbrella. That's a massive, massive game changer in our industry.